Well, right now I'm pulling out of the filling station. In Dwight, Illinois. Headed towards Mount Vernon. Not quite a third of the way there. I'm at 82 miles now when I reach. I gotta reset my odometer, by the way. When I reach 20 more miles, I will be about a third of the way to Mount Vernon. using the Olympus microphone just because it's convenient. Well, I've, I just got it stuck to the side of the camera with the stereo adapter right now. It doesn't have a cord or anything. And I'm cruising about 45 miles per hour, so we'll see how you pick up my voice. Hopefully be into Mount Vernon before Five o'clock in the afternoon to be a chance to grab a bite to eat for an early supper and then usually when you're this far down south like in southern Illinois they have NASCAR on the TV sets in the motel room which is nice so I can watch the NASCAR race and then rest up and head into uh, Kansas City tomorrow since I'm just a little ways east of St. Louis, I don't even have to uh, be in any kind of hurry. I could head out of like, oh, I've got a left turn coming up here. I can head out at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock even and still make it into Kansas City with plenty of time to spare. Anyway, hopefully with the wind noise, didn't sound too bad to me, but I guess I'll find out when I post the video what everybody else thinks. Yeah, another turn coming up ahead, I believe. I know I'm going straight. I think a little bit ways done, I'm going to make a right turn. Anyway, a little bit of information that I looked up online about Mount Vernon. It, uh, when it first became a settlement, there wasn't even a road into the town. You had to just walk over a ridge to get into town, and they decided that if the town was going to last, they'd probably better build a road. And some of the people in the town that had a little bit of money built a bridge over a, a creek or a river. traffic could actually get into the town and then around 1848 the town grew enough that it was the place where the Illinois Supreme Court was and one of the notable lawyers that used to go down to Mount Vernon to argue cases in the Illinois Supreme Court was Abraham Lincoln basically it was just a big high spot of land in the middle of a bunch of swamp that's how it started out. And so, it's about, uh, I don't know what time it is now, I haven't been keeping track of the time, but anyway, I should be there in about one, two, for about four more hours. That's about it for this leg in my journey. I will catch you a little bit ways down the road.